And we also have Eva Zamaris live on the scene in Hartford because of a water main break. This is on Asylum Ave, and it does uh, have some detours in place from Farmington Ave to Woodland to get to St. Francis. But Eva Zamaris can actually better describe the scene live right now as we go to her. Eva, what can you tell us? What's the update? Well, good morning to you, Renee. Lots of road closures in this area. We've been seeing people looping around the area trying to get around this this morning. Now, you can see the crews are currently here on the scene. They've been out here for several hours now, and their work is nowhere near done. Now, a spokesperson for MDC tells me crews have isolated the leak to a water service line for 945 Asylum Ave. That's the property affected by this this morning. Now, they don't know quite yet when these repairs will be complete, but they do expect to be out here through the morning rush. MDC says Connecticut Natural Gas, or CNG, has also been called in to investigate reports of a gas leak here. Now, Hartford police want to get the word out about these road closures. Renee, you've been touching on them all morning long. Asylum Ave is closed between Atwood and Sigourney Streets. We've also been seeing people all morning as I mentioned, trying to loop around the area. And we just spoke with one woman whose car was towed because it was parked near where this all happened this morning. It had to be towed so that they could be able to get under the ground to work on the line. Hartford police say if you are traveling through this area, taking woodland is your best bet to get around this so you can avoid navigating around side streets. Now, again, they do expect to be out here through the morning rush this morning, so definitely plan accordingly if you are heading through the area. And be sure to stay with us not only on air, but, of course, on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this breaking story and when Asylum Ave will reopen. Live in Hartford this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.